Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick. Hey guys, welcome back to our Lego Hidden Side El Fuego Stunt Plane. This is set number 70429. We are on Bag 1 Part 3. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. This is a really cool set. We're building this um, biplane looking thing right now. Thanks to Tim for donating this set. Um, we are starting a Patreon, so if you guys want to show your support, uh, you can go in there, you can donate to us, help us upgrade our gear so we can get better video quality, we can get this done faster, help support me, you know, and all the effort that it takes to get these videos out every week. And uh, also, you can have um, some influence on which sets we do, be able to choose the sets. And uh, so check us out there on Patreon. And uh, and we really appreciate it. Okay, so let's pick up um, on step 27. Let's uh, grab two of these dark blue um, one by six plates. You're gonna put one on top of the other. And then you're also gonna get uh, one by six tile to go on top of that. And we need two of those. All right, so let's repeat the process. Zoom in a little bit more. And then put the tile on top of there. Now with those on there, we're gonna stick these um, on the sides right here. So right there, we're gonna go onto the wing alongside that teal piece, okay? So press that onto there on either side. And then we'll go to 28. And in 28, we uh, need only light gray. It's like a light gray one by two plate and it has a ball hitch in there. And then we're also gonna grab, let's see, a there's this dark gray piece that is a little uh, a little ball and a post that is gonna clip into here and we're gonna bend it upwards like that and this is gonna be the the stick or oh, what do you call it? I don't know what they call it on an airplane. Yeah, it's a fancy word for it. Anyway, it's gonna go into this round dark gray piece right here. So this ball hitch piece is gonna drop into that gap where we see the little the black plate you can do there. Okay, so it's gonna drop onto there. Um, so you have that right there, and then we'll go to 29. Let's see. We need two of our orange one by two plates. All right, and we need a let's see a brown one by two block, and we need eight of these light gray pieces. They are like one by twos with the two by two plate um, sticking upwards off of the side. Let's see, so we need eight of those and we're gonna put four on each side they're gonna go all along here starting from the back with the yellow and actually for you guys I'm facing this direction the instructions must be around like that uh, and they're gonna go along this teal piece like that put four pieces you know make sure that the, the side facing studs are outwards and then go along the other side like that and once you have eight on there, four on each side, then let's put this brown one by two block right here onto this yellow, right after that, up against the uh, dark gray circle piece. And then these um, orange pieces are gonna go cover up the rest of that teal, okay? Right there. And on step 30, we need some brown pieces. Okay, so let's get two of these two by six brown plates and two two by threes, or actually one by sixes, sorry, I said two by sixes, it's one by six, and two by three. Um, the two by threes are gonna go on here, they're gonna overlap one space onto the orange and onto the other brown piece there, and they're gonna go side by side. They're also gonna cover up that light gray piece with the uh, ball socket, like that. And then the other ones are gonna go along the side, on the inside of these light gray pieces with the side facing studs. Okay, on either side like that. It's kinda like building the interior of this cockpit in here. Um, now let's go to 31. We need four of these brown pieces that are just kind of like, usually it's like a seat back, but it's like this bar handle with the triangular sides on uh, one by two footprint. We need to get four of those guys. And we also need one of these dark blue um, A-shaped block pieces, okay? It's thick on the block. And that is going to go on the back here. Um, and it's actually going to be directly above the other dark blue one, so it's offset from this white one. We're gonna put, if you put it on top of the white, or I mean not white, sorry, yellow, on top of the yellow piece, but then shift it back one, okay? 
the back one, so it's just in between that first row of uh, studs on the light gray. And then right behind that, we're going to put these handle seat back pieces and make sure that they're angled so that the flat side is up against the inside of these um, side facing stud like divider pieces. So the angled side is on the inside like this. Okay, so it's they're kind of opening out from the center. That two on each side. Kind of hard to explain. But yeah, anyway, like that. So you're gonna make sure this bar is like closer to the light gray. If you have it on the opposite, then there's gonna be a big gap in here. You don't want a gap. Okay. Then in 32, uh, the more brown pieces, let's see. You need two of these one by two blocks, and then you need one of these uh, one by two plates with the side facing one by two plate coming upwards off the end of it. And the one with the side facing studs is going to go right here. So the side facing studs are um, facing inwards, like backwards towards the um, little joystick doodad thing to control the plane. Just do the plane. Why do I always. It's not a helm, that's a ship. What do they call it? Yeah, I do remember. Some technical term for it. Yoke. Is that what it is? The yoke? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, then these um, round blocks are going to go on either side of that uh, so that they're flush up against these uh, seat back and the water pieces. And then in 33, around this green, it's kind of like this weird lime green, uh, one by two block, and it has a hole inside. And then we're going to have this dark gray X bar. It's eight spaces long. So actually, if you just hold it up against this, the tail, you know, it's the only X bar in the whole set, so it's not like there's any confusion. But you know, stick it in here, it has a cap on it, so it's going to stop there. And then the caps end, you're going to put it up against this right here, so wedge it in between this little cavity and push it down in there, okay? So nice and snug in there, and this can still rotate, but it can't come out, okay? Alright, 34. Now we need a brown 1x4 block, that's going to go across this row of colorful studs there and seal that together then in 35 we need let's see what is that that's just a dark blue one by two plate and then also there's two of these light gray pieces it's a one by two plate and then hanging down off the side is a two by four plate of side facing studs and let's see okay so this one by two is going to get one stud onto the corner of that one by four brown block, okay? So that on the side, these side facing studs are going to be lined up right there. And so it's kind of hanging out into the front. And then this dark blue piece is going to go, um, it's going to go right here in between them on that brown piece, right that, right like that, okay? Then, uh, 36, let's see. In 36, we want to do. Um, we are going to set this aside. Let's grab. Um, we need two of these two by four curved step slopes in dark blue. And we're going to start with one, flip it over, and then in sub step two, we want to get an orange one by two. And we're going to put it on one side of it like that. And then grab. Um, this dark gray one by two with the um, handlebar off of the longer side and you're gonna put that on the other side down into that step like that hanging over and then in step three you can flip this over and put the other step slope back to back with that other one like that so it's got this curve shape like that like a little speed bump and then if we are look you're looking at this like this where the handlebar is pointed down then you want to go on to the left hand side and put decal number nine on there. So let's grab decal number nine. And that is going to be in this little like flaming F shape. Like logo with the F in the fire. And you're going to put it on so that the bottom of F is facing toward the middle. Okay, so line this up. Remember the trick is however much space you have on the top and the bottom, that's how much space you want on the side between the edge of the piece and the sticker. It's a little bit off with these curved pieces just because it's, the, the pieces are cut for a flat surface and there's a little bit more surface area when you have a curve like that. Uh, so anyway, just do your best on there. 
um, getting the sides lined up is more important than the spacing top to bottom, I think. Uh, then, once you have that done, you want to grab this dark blue kind of flag piece. It's like a 2x3 uh, tile, and it has two clip hands off the small side. And that is going to get detail number two. Okay. Zoom in. Sorry to zoom in for the other one, guys. Um, let's see. Detail number two is this, like, beat-up metal hatch kind of looking thing. And let's see. The side with the little blue triangle is going to go on the bottom if you have these clip hands going off to the right. I believe that's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my decals were... That decal sheet was pretty beat up. I hope yours is in better shape because it's cool on my stickers and this one's kind of difficult to place my stickers with, it, with them all warped. It looks like this one, you have to place it a little bit closer to the clip hands than it looks like you normally would for that edge piece. I didn't do great on that one, but whatever. Too late now. You kind of only get one shot at these. Um, then this is going to clip onto that bar right there. Like that. And then we are going to put that, so that was step five. We're going to put this onto this side. Okay, so you have the tail sticking out the left side, and then you're going to take this guy like this, and this curved part, the empty studs under that are going to stick onto these side facing studs right there, kind of centered with this, and then this is going to fold back onto the side of that, covering up the yellow. Okay? Alright, so, uh, let's take a break. We'll come back next time with um, step 37. So, thank you again to Tim for donating this set for us. Um, please give us a like and subscribe, check us out on Patreon, and we'll see you later.